Jeremy, uh, senior day coming up, man. I, I know you probably try not to let the emotions kind of hit you, but what kind of your thoughts going into this thing? Man, you can't, you can't run from it. You can't hide the emotions. I mean, Greenville guy, been for 20 years, been here for all my life, been around this program for about 10, 10, 12 years, you know, ever since my brother was here. So it's definitely emotional. You know, I'm just trying to go with the flow, trying not to let my emotions overwhelm me. But yeah, I've been down that road of tears. You know, it's real. You know, every every day thinking about like even Sunday, that was my last Sunday and this is my last Tuesday. So I mean like, yeah, just trying to stay strong, you know, try to go out with a band. Obviously it hasn't been the, the season you all wanted, but how, how much would it mean to mean to close it with the with a victory? Oh, that's definitely gonna mean a lot. Like we're not about to go out here and lay down for nobody. I know a lot of people like you see a lot of outsiders like all right, let's get young guys on the field to prepare for the future, like get ready for next year. And I like, I can understand that, but like, we're we're not gonna just lay down and like move on. Like this is still our senior year. Coach is still gonna give us everything he has. Coach K is gonna give us everything he has, no matter what the outcome is. Like he's gonna go out there and we're gonna try to win this ball game. You mentioned your brother. Talk about what this program has meant to you and what Greenville's meant to you as far as having your family be here beforehand and then playing for your hometown team. Well, it's definitely meant everything to me, you know what I'm saying? It's just that like, purple and gold is just running our veins, you know. They, they, the, the school did so much for my family and for my brother. Like, it was only right that I stayed here, you know, and come to college here myself. So, I mean, you know, it just it's meant the world, you know. I'm just glad to be able to play in front of my in front of my hometown, in front of my family almost every game. So it's it's an amazing feeling being able to, you know, even go see my daughter and whatnot right after the game. Like, that's, you can't do that if I was elsewhere. So, I mean, I love that. What's your favorite memory during your years here at ACU? Mm, favorite memory? Ah, it's it's going to be a crazy one, but it's definitely going to be catching my first touchdown. It's definitely going to be an offensive memory. <laughs> I know I'm a defensive guy, but that was none other. That night was fun. We had fun that night. And I would know it was me and my boy Brian Gag. He threw me threw my first pass. And I don't know, I was able to catch it. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I really accomplished something when I did that. Like when I moved to the defensive side of the ball, like everything just felt natural. Like I felt like I was where I belong. So being able to catch a touchdown, uh, that was crazy to me. That was crazy to me. You tried to talk Donnie into giving you one more target? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. I had, cause I had, I actually had scored earlier that game and they got called back by a holding penalty. So then we came back later that game and just came right back to it. And he gave me another opportunity. So that's always my guy. Right. Um, you know, guys can, you know, you see these guys transfer all the time now. But for you to stay here five years, you, you know, you're going to kind of leave a legacy here, yeah. you know, playing your whole career here. So, like, what does that, that mean to you? Um, that, that means the world because, like, we've, I'm not about to sit here and say I didn't have that opportunity or ever have that thought, but I'm, I didn't want to leave. I'm not, like, I was just talking about this with some of the coaches earlier. Like, you go in those those end of the year conversations that you have with your players, they always ask like, hey, you know, you, you coming back next year, what's this gonna be like? And I ain't, it was never like, it was second nature to me. Like, yeah, I'm, this is me. Like, I'm not going anywhere. Like, I bleed purple and gold. Like, I really stand on that. So, I mean, nah, I just, nah, nah. You're never gonna leave. Never gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> never gonna leave. Last year, Coach Houston gave that senior class credit for turning this program around, but you were a freshman when Coach got here. Mm -hmm. You used to talk about what it meant to inherit a team who had been three and nine so many years. You got to qualify for two bowl games. Unfortunately, I only got to play in one, and how you got to lead the program better than what you found it. Oh, yeah, that means a lot because, like, even with that, like, you don't realize how good of – you don't realize how good something is until it's gone. And, like, those guys, that 2018 class really, like – they really changed this program for the better. Not only like Coach Houston was able to come in and give us a different environment and culture in the locker room, he had guys that was willing to accept that culture and not like shy away from hard coaching. And like he was able, they were able, those, those 2018 class was able to, you know, like accept the challenge and it really allowed us to change this program for the better. So, I mean, I was able to be a leader with those guys, even though I was 2019, a year younger, but I was able to be a leader with those guys. And that, I mean, it was, it's a good feeling seeing that this program might really change. I think you got injured on like the first play at Navy. Oh, yeah. You go to the tent, you're like right back. Like, you know, maybe give some guys would take some time off, but you're like itching yeah. to get back in there. So, like, what, what leads to that mindset? No, I was just battling something like just quick stinger yeah. habits. And I was been battling it for a couple of weeks, but I was able to. Um, I was wearing a neck brace, a neck pad, and I should have kept it on, but like, 
you know, with Navy, like it was hard. It was hard for me to move my neck in a neck pad. And I didn't really needed to see inside, like what's all going on, because everything's inside. I mean, nothing's outside. You know, it's a whole bunch of running backs. So I had to try to take my neck brace off. And first play of the game, I realized I need to put it back on. <laughs> so my stinger happened. Everything went bad. So I just like put my neck brace back on. It wore off, and I was able to just go back out there. It was nothing serious. All right. Obviously, you got senior day, but it is also a football game. What have you seen from Tulsa on film now that you got to practice Sunday and prep for them? Oh, yeah. You know, we got a, a, a good team that's going to try to establish a run early. So, you know, we got to do what we've been doing all year, being able to stop the run. Um, they also tempo. They're going to get to the line fast. They're going to try to take deep shots down the field. Uh, they got several different quarterbacks. You know, one likes to run, one, one likes to pass. They played 11 last week, and they think they can run his offense the best when he's in the game. So if you see them one come in, you got to know it's a QB run game. He's going to try to get him on the perimeter, get him some QB power counters going. So I don't know. They got a pretty decent O-line. I haven't really paid much on their defense yet, but I know on the offensive side of the ball, they're going to try to establish a run, tempo, and take shots down the field. I tried to get it out of coach that this is like, you know, last game of the season, just let everything loose. Just right. like get after it. I like that. And I'm glad said, you said that. <laughs> and he told me that that's what you all do every week. Yeah. So is that kind of the expectation for, oh, yeah. for this week? Oh, yeah. On the defense side of the ball, we're going to try to go get it. You know, we try to pitch shutouts. So, you know, you like – when you're not having the best year on the other side of the ball, you got to do everything you can do to help those guys out. I mean, we're a team being this together. So no matter what, like, we're going to try to hold the team to zero points. They may not might score, Ben don't break, but we're going to go back up there and just keep competing. Thanksgiving coming, what's on the menu for you? Oh, man, I'm a hometown kid, so I'm going to grandma's house. <laughs> Everybody, I'm, 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 I feel bad that all my teammates don't get to go home and get a good home-cooked meal, but... Me being right up the road, I'm going to grandma's house and whatever she cooks, I'm eating. So what does grandma normally make on Thanksgiving? Everything. Turkey, ham, fried chicken, macaroni, cheese, cabbage, collards, everything. <laughs> what, what, what time should I be there? Nah, <laughs> there could be no leftovers. Okay. There could be no leftovers. <laughs>